Hey guys, I'm Googie, and today we're going to talk about how Cuties, that Netflix show, was actually much worse than we thought. Now, if you saw my original video, you might be thinking, how can it get much worse? But yeah, that is something we'll talk about. Instead, well, they did apologize um, and say like, oh yeah, it was a film poster or something like that. Like, uh, at this point, I don't even know if the apology means anything. Um, I don't think it means anything at this point. Um, it's kind of like, uh, sorry, sorry, not sorry. But yes, we are here to talk about it. Instead of removing the film because it was causing a lot of controversy because they made a mistake in uploading the film and creating the film or like they unintentionally offended people instead of deleting the film from netflix for those reasons they instead chose to make excuses for why the film isn't that bad or why they wouldn't delete the film but yeah all they did was replace the artwork as we see they say here now you may be thinking that if a lot of people are trying to cancel their netflix subscriptions that might move netflix to remove the film but oh no it didn't as this article states more than one petition was started but the largest one has over 655,000 signatures and it appears to have worked according to the data analytics at yeplet data netflix subscriber cancellation rates were eight times higher than the average daily level on september 12th in addition the stock price did fall one thing that is important to note is that netflix does not provide its daily rate for the subscription loss oh i have a feeling i think i might know why that is i think it's because they're losing so many subscribers that it will be embarrassing to say how many subscribers they're losing if they were just losing a few subscribers and they would be like Oh yeah, we only lost a couple of hundred subscribers, we only lost a couple of thousand subscribers, but no, they must be losing thousands and thousands of subscribers every day. Oh, but however, not to mention, I think they're getting some subscribers back with a different release, Cobra Kai. And yeah guys, I personally did not cancel my Netflix subscription, but at the same time, I am not watching the film Cuties, and I'm not even watching a second of it to pull anything in from the video. In fact, there were many articles on some of the disturbing stuff that went on, on the, in the film that upset many people. So I can just, I can still show you proof of what has been going on, but it will be from articles. And here the film director says, I thought the film would be accepted, played at Sundance, and it was watched by the American people there. I met the public there, and they really saw the film as a universal issue. <clears throat> she stated that it's not about French society hypersexualization of children throughout social media, and, and it is everywhere. People at Sundance agreed with that. All right, well, I'm not an expert on this, and I don't know anything about Sundance, but it must be like a bunch of producers and um, media executives. But yeah, of course, as long as they think the film would make some money, they are not going to say anything about it. Oh, no, they don't have a problem with it. They're not the American people. Well, I can't say they're not the American people. They're not the true American people who actually watch these shows for enjoyment they might be watching like to review and thinking like oh is this going to make money or is it not going to make money but yeah i would not trust uh their opinion but yeah if they're really going to say oh yeah the film wasn't that bad we we're not trying to hypersexualize children 
in any way, shape, or form. Well, you know, there's another article. Proves that that's kind of what they're doing here. So one of the things that went on in this movie was that it was showing young girls twerking on stage. On stage, wait, but then how can anyone's parents actually agree to send their kids on a movie to twerk on stage? And that, in fact, is like the sexualization of children, which is highly inappropriate. I mean, just why? Why would any parent be okay with this and sign contract for their kids to be doing this stuff on TV? I mean, I know there are some messed up people out there, but I don't know if it was like for the money or just because they wanted attention or attention for their kids or something like that, but this is just wrong. And we have a famous person speaking out against this. I don't know who Mary Margaret O'Hanlon is, but she says here, Netflix is comfortable with this. Plenty of people will defend it. That's where our culture is at. Oh my God. If that is really the case, if that is really what society is became now, that is just so sad. That is pathetic. How do we even get to this point as a human race? And it goes to say that there was some cursing that went on through the film. And yeah, some of the kids probably cursed. But you know, like parents sign stuff like that like all the time like for child actors, like giving them permission to curse on TV or to curse in films. Okay, well, that is understandable as kids curse in middle school already. They just hope that the teachers don't hear them curse. And as long as the teachers don't hear them curse, and as long as none of the other students rat them out for cursing, it's no problem. So for cursing, I can understand why parents sign contracts that allow their kids to curse on TV. But to allow your kids to twerk on TV? That's just ridiculous. So one of the girls here pulls down her pants and the photographs are taken of her genitals and posted online. Well, first of all, that is child pornography and if I'm not mistaken, that is against the law. So they're breaking the law, but maybe law officials don't see it that way because it's not real, it's just part of an act. But yeah, you cannot have a scene like this in a movie and say that the film does not focus on the hypersexualization of children. See, your own, see, with Netflix, their own film is contradicting their statements. And now let's take a look at the aftermath. Cutie's director claimed that she discovered the sexualized poster and promotional material for the film along with the rest of the public that she hadn't seen it until she got all the reactions on social media and even attacks from people that she didn't understand what was going on and she didn't see what the poster looked like no are you serious you mean to say that you don't check your poster before the film is reduced you don't even look at it you don't even look at a final copy before you show it to the public. Does this mean you did not even watch your own film before putting it on Netflix? How can you not how can you not discuss what you want your poster to look like? Like what kind of effect you'd want your poster to have on the audience? And how could you not even look at it for one last time before putting it up on Netflix before putting it up on the internet. It's like, are you intentionally trying to get a bad reputation? Are you trying to like create a bad impression on your audience? I believe this is just an excuse because I believe there is no way, no way in hell that you did not even give your poster any looks. And if that was the case, that means that they're more focused on the money than the quality of their TV show. 
I mean, I don't say, oh yeah, guys, um, like if I made a video and if I offended people or got like um, some personal attack comments, I, d I don't say that, oh yeah, I didn't see the video until you guys saw it. Because no, I recorded the video. I edit the video. I export it and I upload it and I put a thumbnail. But no, they must be lying. Whew. Okay, so in my original video on cuties, I tried to maybe slightly give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe like they didn't think about what they were doing before. Maybe they didn't think it was gonna offend people. Maybe it was a mistake. And if that was the case, they would have deleted the film from Netflix. But now we know this is no mistake. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, please don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, bell notifications, and share. I'm Googie!